not have questions for the uh, the next few SMOPCON uh, groups that are interested in SMOPCON, but they will have two minutes for presentations. And we'll start with NASF 3 for um, <coughs> 2022. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and uh, I'm representing New Amsterdam science fiction and fantasy fandom. Um, <laughs> That's, that's our corporate name. <laughs> um, we're the producers of Heliosphere in the New York City metro area. Um, our organization is a 501c3, and it's a New York State not-for-profit. Um, we would not be using our regular hotel in uh, Terrytown for SmallCon as much as we like it. Uh, for SmallCon, it's too inconvenient and costly for people flying in. So we've been looking at hotels um, near JFK and LaGuardia. Um, there's lots of great choices, and we're looking for the best deal and fit for SmockCon. Uh, <coughs> we are also looking for an area um, where it would be easier to travel into Manhattan, um, to be able to enjoy all of Manhattan's um, sites and all of the great things that New York City has to offer. Um, we have a great team at Heliosphere who are excited for this opportunity, and we have um, SMOPs outside of New York City who are offering to help us. Um, we have a lot of younger fans involved with our event who have had very little exposure to wider fandom, and this is an opportunity for them to become more involved. Um, we look forward to bringing more information uh, about our plans to Montreal next year. Thank you. So now we have LA for SMOCON 2022. So it's always fine to see bids from newbies. <laughs> yes, we are. We are. We are looking forward to the opportunity to learn. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Los Angeles, the Los Angeles. We are representing a bid for SMOFCON for 2022 for the Los Angeles metro area. Uh, we have not chosen a hotel. In fact, I would like feedback from people as to whether they would prefer <coughs> being on the water, near the airport, downtown, in the valley. What would you like to do? So if you would let us know, we'll be doing our hotel search this year. Uh, so with your input, we'll take that and uh, look for a good hotel. We are looking at um, uh, the first weekend in December, our traditional weekend, uh, it would be December 2nd through 4th. Uh, and do you have anything to add, Ben? Um, we don't yet know any of the corporate details. On the other hand, we do have a sucker picked. <laughs> we'll be stuck with chairing this sucker. Not me. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, we look forward to another SMOFCON. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the last one that we had out in LA, and we hope to do at least as well, we hope, better. Yes, well, thank you. We have a, a bid, an offer from 20, for 2023 from Seattle. And I'm not going to say where is Seattle because I know it's in Washington. <laughs> Clever of me. Nothing gets by. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. You are wise. Hi, I'm Mara Cyril Kovacevic, and I'm bidding, I'm bidding for uh, SmothCon in, in Seattle for 2023. So last year at SmothCon, several of us were in the con suite. We were just pondering the idea of the possibility of bidding for a SmothCon in Seattle. And in, and in Fanish tradition, people started throwing money at us. So, so, we've continued, so we've been continuing the discussions that were started, and we, we are now 
we're now prepared to um, put our bid out there. It'll be under the auspices of SWAC. Uh, we've been putting a committee together. Sally Worley is part of the hotel team, and <coughs> Bill Jones Parker is our treasurer. Um, Alex Von Thornton will be doing our programming, and, right, and we're starting to look at neighborhoods and hotels. I'm, I'm leaning towards Seattle Center, which is near downtown, but not nearly as expensive. It's near all the good restaurants and the Space Needle. And that's pretty much what we have this far out. Great. Thank you very much. 